<laughs> and uh, going back to the Judge Salas case, because that's what we wanted to talk about today. It the the Deutsche Bank th- stuff. So I don't know if that's the exact reason that he was coming after her. Something that's been going on for years, they said, is the reason. But I guess because uh, she's seated in Newark, she's presiding over a lawsuit in which Deutsche Bank investors assert the bank made false statements about its anti-money laundering policies and didn't keep tabs on high-risk customers like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> and she supposedly a few days ago got the Ghislaine Maxwell case. Is that what you already said, Todd? Yeah. Er- yeah. So that was like earlier this month. After yeah. Maxwell pled not guilty. If you want to hear more about that, you can listen to the last pod or even uh, Chronicles of Epstein and Trump V2, where we go in deep on her arrest. But yeah, just so crazy. The guy shot himself in the head. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Daniel. <laughs> not that guy. But yeah, so... <laughs> So speaking of Deutsche Bank, the investors sue Epstein uh, over the ties and stock drop. This was July 16. So this was what I think she was getting uh, recently on top of whatever else she might have had already. So Deutsche Bank allegedly misled investors about any money laundering deficiencies. Same thing like all these banks do, like we just read in that Kroll Inc. thing. Uh, Yeah. And we know HSBC is doing. Um, I forget what exactly it was on. It was, I think it was the China hustle where it was showing they just let you put a dash or a hyphen into your illegal terrorist organization and the money <laughs> fell through. <laughs> but yeah, the bank didn't tell investors it hadn't fixed disclosure pro- control problems and wasn't keeping an appropriate eye on clients like convicted sex offender Epstein, two other banks in past financial misconduct scandals. Investors alleged Wednesday in U.S. District Court for the District of New Jersey. Adding Epstein as a client in 2013 was a critical mistake and should never have happened, Deutsche Bank said in a July 7 message to staff. A bank spokesperson told Bloomberg News it had spent almost $1 billion to improve AML controls. The bank's share price fell 4.49% May 13 after news broke that the Federal Reserve had criticized its U.S. operations. Four and a half percent is pretty, pretty drastic, including its AML and other control procedures, the investor said. The share price dropped 1.31% July 7 after New York State Financial Services Department fined Deutsche Bank $150 million for neglecting to flag numerous questionable transactions from accounts associated with Epstein. Deutsche Bank signaled to investors in 2017 that its new now departed general counsel would further ensure its mitigation of its prior AML and other control failures. The bank touted its AML remediation in efforts and subsequent SEC filings. Bank warned investors generic boilerplate control risk, but didn't disclose relationships with and lax monitoring of customers like Epstein. <clears throat> Deutsche Bank declined to comment in the new suit. Pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. Potential class size, hundreds or thousands who acquired Deutsche Bank securities between November 7, 2017 and July 6, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What yeah. were you saying though, Todd? It's weird. Are they, are they, it's weird how much they've been uh, ousted recently for all their crimes. Like it, uh, a lot of their stuff, it seems to be maybe related to how closely tied to Trump they are. Trump and the uh, Kushner family. Yeah. So I don't know if you, do you want me to talk a little bit about that now? Or? A 